What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And as promised, today we're gonna to talk about the Pulse 3D headsets versus the Arctis 7P. Is it worth getting one or the other? Guess you're gonna to have to stick around and find out. Now these headsets do have different price points. You can get the Arctic 7Ps for about $149, or you can get the Pulse 3D headsets for about $100. With that being said, let's take a deep dive into the Pulse 3D headsets. All right, so with the Pulse 3D headsets, we're gonna have a headband that has a plastic matte finish, not big on it. Um, definitely prefer the Arctic 7Ps over that. Now when it comes to range to when you have the headsets plugged in and you walk away, uh, you're gonna get between 25 and 30 feet of range before it cuts out and then you have to walk back and it's gonna reconnect again and when you do connect the Pulse 3 headsets you're gonna use a USB-A plug to the PS5 now taking a look at the side of the headset we can see that we have the 3.5 millimeter port the power switch the mute button the volume tab the mic monitor the end game and chat toggle now I'm not a big fan about having this all on the left side. It's kind of crowded and it's a little hard to find the controls when you're just trying to stay in the moment and stay in the game. All right, now in testing out the sound quality of the Pulse 3D headsets, I did try it on various games like Spider-Man Miles Morales or Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now the sound quality is pretty great for the buck. You know, it's only $100, it sounds pretty good. Great to start off with. Now with this headset, you can only use it for PS4 and PS5. You can't use it on PC, you can't use it with your phone. It's just limited solely to those two consoles. And when you talk about the battery life, you're gonna get about 12 hours. All right, so on to the Arctic 7P. Now with these, I really like the design on them. You got a nice adjustable headband, and you also have some nice comfortable ear cups that you can actually swivel. So you can put this around your neck, like so, if you need to take a break but they are very comfortable, so not a problem there. All right, so when it comes to the range, you're actually gonna get about 35 to 40 feet before you actually lose connection. And when you do connect this, you're gonna use a USB-C dongle, which does block the front end of the PS5 when you put it in, although it does come with an adapter, but the cord is actually pretty long. So the controls on these are much easier to find. It's not so much crowded. On the left, you're gonna have the mobile chat port, the 3.5 millimeter port, the mute, the volume wheel, the micro USB charging, and on the right, you're just gonna have the power button and the side tone wheel. So with the Arctic 7P, you can actually use them with a PS4, a PS5, an Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PC, and so forth. So you definitely get a lot more usage with these. Now the sound quality on the Arctic 7Ps are great. I tried it on both Miles Morales and AC Valhalla once more, and it definitely sounds a lot louder than the Pulse 3D headsets. And not to mention that the battery life is 24 hours. So one thing these do have in common, you're not gonna get any noise cancellation. When you put them on and you're playing, it definitely is gonna drown out the noise in the back of anybody who's talking if you have it up loud. But if you just have it on normally and nothing is playing in the back, you're gonna hear everybody who's talking you know, behind you. Another thing is they do provide the 3D features, so don't worry about not having that. All right, so with the 3D Pulse headset, it's great to start off with the PS5. You're not gonna have a problem. They're gonna work great. Not to mention it has a great price on it. But if you wanna get more bang for your buck, I think you should get the Arctic 7Ps. Only 50 bucks more, great sound, longer battery life. How could you go wrong? Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped to make your decision in which headset to buy. And don't forget, if you're new to this channel, hit the like and subscribe button and follow your boy on Instagram. The link is gonna be down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.